Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, I like to capture my thoughts this morning with the word foolish fights. Oh, you know, foolish fights. I don't mean to insult you, but that's just the way. Because it's funny to me. You know, Paul made a statement. He said, I have fought the good fight. So that means they are good fights and they are bad fights. And of course, if they are bad fights, they are foolish fights. And I always proceed this kind of, this kind of uh, uh, topic this morning. Listen, I have been pushed into some very, very, very bad fights. And I, they beat the hell out of me. I have been made to engage in bigger boys who were much more stronger than I was, who were much more bigger than I was, and I was no match for them. But somebody fed my ego and made me know that I was David's cousin. I can pull down any Goliath. Hey, that kind of Goliath was not, God didn't send me to go fight those Goliath. So those Goliath gave my backside a whopping. And I cried, don't ask me, I cried, yes. I lost it. And so there are some foolish fights. And the story then comes out very clearly to me. In, in the Bible, there was a young king of, of, of Judea. And then he went to the king of Israel and told him that, listen, come let us look one another in the face. This guy was a very young guy. And then he goes to an old king of Samaria and tells him that we need to fight. And then the old king told him that, no, that we, we don't need to fight. I don't need to fight with you. And this young boy kept insisting. Because now he wants to show that he's a powerful guy. He wants to show that, yeah, he's David. He wants to show that he is from the Davidic line. He can pull down any Goliath. And then the old warrior made a statement. He said, let not him who puts on his armor boast of himself who puts it off. He said, you are now wearing armor. You are now putting on your military <laughs> jacket. You are now wearing the armor. I have put it off. That means I am a veteran. So I don't want to fight with you. You are young. So you, you go have your fight, but just leave me alone. I have no beef with you. I don't want any fight with you. And yet this young king kept, kept insisting until he said, all right, the old man obliged. And you know what? He just took him and killed him. He said, let nothing who puts on his armor boast of himself as he who puts it off. Listen, he has been to many wars. He is skilled in the art of warfare. He has had many fights. He has had many challenges. And you are just coming. And sometimes I can see some young people would like to take on some old people, you know, just to show that they are also there. Huh? Okay. They are thin or two he needs or he knows. And I remember uh, there, there was an old man in, in our town, you know, and this young boy was uh, reputed to have, you know, he, he had all the strength and, you know, powerful person, good fighter. And then he crossed swords with this old man. And you know, within five minutes, he was lying on the floor. He had passed out. The old man just, I mean, used some old tricks. One, two, the guy was on the floor. He, he had passed out. And then the old man said, you know, I didn't want to prolong this fight because I don't have a stamina to go nine rounds or all this thing. But there's something I need to know. I know. There's something I, I know. I knew that he didn't know. And I knew how to knock him out. And he did that. Don't spoil for foolish fights. Don't take on people sometimes who are ahead of you. Because there's something they know you don't know. And there are some fights, there are foolish fights. It is better for you to walk away than to engage in it because you would lose. And I want to tell some young men of God, you know, listen, you may be gifted, you may be anointed. In fact, the king of Judah, the promise was on them. He was on the Davidic line. But hey, he died a foolish death because he bit more than he could chew. There are some fights which are bad fights. Walk away from those foolish fights because it is not necessary. Well, of course, the choices are yours. See you later.